Down on deck five, outside the Royal Theatre, in the ship's 1411-seater venue, audiences are gathering for tonight's performance of Flight. Tia and Hakim have made the journey from Derby to watch one of this evening's performers, school friend Amara. The show begins in the year 2027 and explores the history of space travel. And Tia's first show out at sea has left her transfixed. The set features a space station, a replica of one found at the US Space Center, which took hundreds of hours of research to create. Every detail has been considered. Even the actress's ponytail mimics the effect of zero gravity. Set in the 20th century, the production ends with a reenactment of the first ever flight using a replica of the 1903 Wright Brothers plane flown by lead actor Fabian. Unlike the original, this plane is using titanium and carbon fiber composites to keep the weight of the aircraft down. After the lobster dinner, 700 of the ship's 6,300 passengers are grabbing their last chance to watch Hero, which was postponed last night due to bad weather. Set in Japan, Hero tells the story of three warring clans and is opened with a striking bow staff routine. When he picks up that bow staff, it's like an extension of him and it's so powerful and it's such amazing start to this show to set the tone of the show like it's up there right from the start. Next are the show's high wire performers whose act takes place 30 meters above the audience. This is such a special moment in the show. We're in the middle of the ocean on a cruise ship and we've got two guys walking a high line like it's just too hard to believe sometimes. It's so cool to watch the audience's reaction. Everyone's just pointing and in shock. Really awesome, really special. Last but not least is aerialist Maz, who's taking her first flight in front of a live audience. In this piece, Maz's character, the goddess Paracel, meets the lead Ronin, and when they connect, they begin a journey to unite the tribes. It's such a powerful moment because it's when chaos is going on all around and it's all happening at once and it's just such a visually spectacular moment. Maz's performance culminates with the most difficult move to master. The bullet is one of the hardest tricks to conquer. It is so difficult. It takes time, it takes practice. Here we go. Yes, Maz. At 11,411 square feet, the vessel has the world's largest ice rink at sea. It's filled with international Olympic-level skaters, putting on tonight's ice show, 1977. 1977 opens with a spectacular 48 drone light show. It took Royal Caribbean a year to create and calibrate the drones to act and move as one. Not to be upstaged by the drones, the international cast of ice skaters take the audience back in time to 1977 and a diamond heist of the crown jewels. 
Ice Captain Garrett is part of the ensemble that follows time-travelling thief catcher Tempus as he arrives in London to thwart the heist. Six days into the current cruise, Symphony of the Seas has reached its final port of call, its very own exclusive island, perfect day at Coco Cay. Lying in the heart of the Bahamas, Royal Caribbean leased the island for a hundred years and spent a staggering quarter of a billion dollars transforming the 125 acres of white sandy beach into the ultimate chill and thrill adventure island. As the island is uninhabited, today is the busiest day for this port because its current visitor is the world's largest cruise ship. Back on the island, Perfect Day has the tallest water slide in North America, Daredevil's Peak. It does look uh, a pretty uh, exhilarating slide, shall we say. <laughs> Having climbed the 200 steps and waited just under an hour, James and Melanie must face Daredevil's Peak. I'm I'm going, all in. Not, I'm not climbing all this way and waiting this time to, uh, to, to back out, we're going to go down, definitely. Yeah. That's fast. 